In this video, I'll be walking through two AI-powered features in Reflect that make your test easy to create and maintain. The first feature is called Prompt Steps, which allows you to define test steps in English language for Reflect to execute. The second is our AI Assistant, which ensures that any test step in Reflect is resilient to changes, uh, even large-scale changes in your app. To get started, we're going to be in recording against this example e-commerce app. And you'll notice that Reflect starts a browser session in the cloud and screen shares that with me. And I have the option to either start interacting with the site immediately and Reflect will record my actions, or I can click on this AI prompt step to define what I want the Reflect runner to do. So here we can enter in something simple like click on the login button. And through an integration with OpenAI, Reflect will determine what action or a set of actions to perform that fulfills this instruction. So here, Reflect determined to click on one element, which was the login button. And you can see here that there's an error message because we didn't fill out the username. This input value is freeform. So just like the prompt field in ChatGPT, the prompt step in Reflect, you can enter anything that you want. So we could say something like in the username field, enter a female first name that begins with O. You'll see here that the AI will interpret that action and determine what set of actions will uh, interpret the instruction and determine what set of actions to perform. So in this case, it entered in Olivia. If we rerun this by uh, dragging the cursor here and clicking, clicking resume, you can see that it'll enter in a different value. Now, a more real world example would be taking some of our existing manual test scripts that we're already using to test our site and dropping them into an AI prompt. So we're gonna go ahead and do that and paste in this script, which we already have to test uh, the add to cart functionality in our site. When we create a prompt step that contains multiple instructions, Reflect will first attempt to split those into individual instructions and you'll have a chance to review them if you'd like uh, and edit them. And each of these steps in, could uh, result in one or more actions. In particular, step 11 here uh, says input realistic values for all form fields. That will probably be multiple actions unless the form only contains one input field. So when I click create prompt, uh, Reflect is now running through each of those actions using the AI to analyze what it sees on the page and figuring out what action to perform each instruction. We can see here that on this step, it's going to enter in all three values, including entering in a valid zip code from Philadelphia. Uh, AI, the AI can enter in values uh, using any domain knowledge that the model has been trained against. And since this is, this is using uh, OpenAI's GPT, um, it's trained on a wide variety of, of domain knowledge, including things like knowing how to enter a credit card number, social security number, uh, dates in certain formats, things like that. Now, I mentioned that you can also interact with the site uh, just by clicking around. So you can see that here. These steps, these record and play steps, take advantage of the same AI uh, through what we call the AI assistant. So if we open up one of these steps here, you can see that to select an element, it will first attempt to find the element through one uh, set of selectors that it captured when it recorded the action. But if you can't do that, it's going to fall back to this AI assistant step, uh, again, using the AI to determine what action to take. The way it determines what action to take is by executing the test step description here. And so uh, every action that we record and reflect through record and playback, we will attempt to generate a good description of what you did. And in certain cases where we can't use the text on the page or something like that, we will actually generate a description of the action using uh, AI, uh, specifically uh, uh, GPT. So again, if I click on this button here, <clears throat> initially it uh, describes it using a selector, but then uh, replaces that with a better description, which we can, of course, update if we want to. So uh, in effect, the better documented your tests are through these test up descriptions, the more effective the AI is at executing this, this step, even when there's large scale changes, which make all of the existing selectors invalid. Thanks for watching and happy testing.